Hey everybody, hope you're all doing all right out there. So, when it comes to cars, they have lots of driver aids. You know, everything from ABS, traction control, uh, automatic braking so you don't hit pedestrians, uh, blind spot warning, lane assist, and all this. Whoa, that's a big piece of wood. <laughs> all these sorts of things. But when it comes to most cycles, there aren't really many things like that. Because if you think about it, okay, you've got ABS. Well, that's ABS. And then you've got anti-wheelie and you've got traction control and you've got um, cornering ABS and cornering traction control and drift allowing traction control and all this sort of stuff but it all basically is traction control of a variation or ABS. There are some bikes apparently that when you start braking heavily with the front it automatically kicks in the rear brake to assist you with what it's assuming is an emergency stop but that's about as far as it really goes. I mean there are some off-road options for off-road bikes but I don't well let's just say I've seen electronics on an off-road bike just not go well you just end you know it gets confused doesn't know what's going on shuts down ends up in the middle of a muddy puddle you can't move because it won't start and move because you've got to turn it off turn it back on and let it reset itself imagine that happening halfway up a slope you know that's what I mean about I'm sure they've improved things since then but and it may be just a one-off incident, but I was there, I witnessed it, and it is something that will always stick in my mind is, I can just restart the bike and slap into first and go. Bosch is just announced they're working on this new radar system for bikes, which I think is an automatic braking thing, uh, that it can see further out. So if there's in a situation that it's like, oh, if you don't slow down, you're gonna hit this thing, it's gonna start braking for you, I assume? But this is, where I'm getting to with my subject of the video. I own two bikes with no traction control ABS or anything like that. And I don't think I'd want any of those things particularly. If I could add them on for free right now, would I want ABS? All right, fine, on my XJ6 I'd like ABS. I wouldn't really want it on my DRZ. I want to be able to slide around on this thing. Traction control, do I want that? Not really. I'm not opposed to these things. I don't think it's, um, it's bad having them. In fact, it's much safer to have them, but I, I don't feel like I'm losing out by not having them, but then again, you know, maybe I'll feel different the time I go around a corner and twist the throttle too much. Although I haven't done that yet. You know, I've, I've learned to brake properly because you don't have a choice. If you don't have ABS, you have to develop your braking skills much further than just slam on the brake and stop. You have to actually progressively apply it, maybe feather into the brake, uh, the gears and stuff to try and get a better braking force with no chance of coming off. But if I was to buy a bike in the future that had ABS on it, yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with that. If it had traction control, I wouldn't have a problem with that either. I'd like to be able to switch it off at the right time, if it's the right sort of bike to do so. But this is uh, my question, like, what rider aids are on your bike? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Have you got them activated? Have you deactivated them? Is there a reason for this? Is there something you like that you've tried? Like, basically, how do you feel about aids for helping you ride a bike? Now I know some people can get quite elitist about this and say it should be fully manual, should be fully under your control, and I, I'm, I'm not one of those people. I like having bikes that are fully manual and under my control. However, I do get why it's all there, and the only time I have an issue with it is if, you know, if you're racing, for instance, or you're, you know, you should be racing on the road, but you know what I mean, if, you, if it's coming down to a competition thing, then yes, you should be on a level playing field that everyone has the same. Now, if someone could not come through and splash me, that would be great. I actually came through this the other day. Uh, it was a lot deeper than this, about well, up to the pegs of my XJ6, carried on to about up here. And uh, I came around the corner and found a BMW reversing out of it, like, oh, not go through that, not go through that. And I'm like, I know how deep that is, it's fine, I'm just gonna go through it. So I went around them, just went straight through, the steam flying over or anything. I just hope they felt a bit sort of like, oh, a bike's just come around the corner and gone straight through it. And it's not even like a dirt bike, it's a sports bike. <laughs> well, a sports tourer. No, I didn't have my camera with me. I'm really annoyed because, you know, as they say, uh, if it's not on camera, it didn't happen. Well, it happened, it was funny. Anyway, I've digressed a little bit from my subject. God, that's slippery. Although that is on the subject, you know, that, there's an example. If I had traction control, would I be worried about going around that corner? I still think self-preservation would stop me going halfway through it, but I just slipped. Yeah, what more do you need to know? 
yes, if you haven't guessed, this is the beginning of Storm Clara and it's on its way in. Anyway, back to my point. So, Bosch is working on this new system. It's like radar, automatic braking. I don't get that really, because when you're in a car, it, this makes sense to me that, you know, you're strapped into a seat. If the, if the car just slams the brakes on for you, you're not going to fall out of it. You know, you're not going to fall over. You're in a seat. You've got a um, seatbelt on. You've got airbags around you. You are pretty protected in a cocoon. When it comes to a bike, if you're not prepared for the bike to stop, like for instance, uh, if you're green laning, this is a good example of this, if you're green laning and you're only doing 10 miles an hour, so for instance, and a vine or something catches your front brake and yanks it, because you're not prepared for that, you just get sent over the handlebars nearly. In the same way that, you know, if you're in the passenger seat of a car, it's a lot more uncomfortable than if you're in the driver's seat because you're the one, you know where the car's going, you can feel everything, you're holding onto the steering wheel, you're not, you feel more in control, whereas in if you're sat in the passenger seat, you tend to feel a bit sort of thrown around. So I don't get how that's going to work. And that's the same reason I don't get how a lot of these possible things they could bring in for motorcycles would work. Because if they interfere with a bike, that could very easily lead to a crash because you know, as I said, it's not a car that can just slam its brakes on a cocoon you. But this is where I would like to see rider aids. Not for the bike to do something for me, but for the bike to give me more information. For example, uh, I, you know, like blind spot warning or a rear facing camera. Now that may not be the bike, that may be a helmet thing. We've talked about smart helmets before and they are a dumb idea because of the costing now. But in the future, if they can make them a lot cheaper, if it could just give you a little, uh, rear view display that's really helpful because mirrors are great if you have them uh, <laughs> but the thing is they do take an amount of looking in whereas if you can just glance and always see what's going on behind you that is inherently going to make you safer so that would be a good thing to see but as I say until the camera tech gets small and really really cheap and screens and stuff like that get really cheap we won't see that uh, another one, actually, that goes along with the Smart Helmets idea that I'd like to see is IR headlights, as in infrared headlights for motorcycles, with a screen in your helmet that allows you to see and drive at night. Because riding a motorcycle at night can be absolutely lethal. Particularly if you're doing something like coming down some country road, you know, it's national speed limits, covered in leaves, it's wet, it's twisty, you can't see a damn thing because there's no street lights, and then you have the cars with literally the sun for headlights coming at you every now and then, and they never turn their headlights down. At the point you are mid-corner, you can just about see your light on the ground. This thing comes around the corner, and now you can't see a thing. You're in pitch blackness halfway around the corner. If you had IR lights in the screen, that would not happen. However, there is a big problem, which is that halfway around the corner, it has a software glitch, and you lose your lights. Now you're completely blind, and you're going to crash most likely. So as cool of an idea as it is, again, I don't really see that coming in because it's too dangerous to the rider. And that's the point. All these supposed aids, other than, you know, traction control and ABS, which does make perfect sense, and maybe a rear view camera, most of these things, I think, are just more inherently dangerous towards the biker. But what do you think? What have you got on your bike? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What things have you seen you would like or you don't like the idea of? I may not have heard of all the aids that are available for motorcycles, you know. Also, any sort of future technology ideas that you'd like to see introduced? I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I'd like the bike to be less stealable. Uh, and that's a common one. And I can understand that. But inherently, with that, that's a whole subject of its own. And there's lots of problems with it. So yeah, let me know what you think on all of that. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new here, and if you want to help support this channel, please consider doing that through Patreon. Links in the description. Uh, until the next one, bye bye.